There's something fascinating, isn't there, in that I think to be human is to ask those kind of questions. You know, we are the only creature that asks the meaning question. You know, squirrels don't sit around having great existential crises about the purpose of life. Um, in fact, most animals, when they're not, uh, when they're not either, uh, you know, hunting, eating, or mating, they sleep. They just sit there with a stupid look on their face. Well, at least that's our pet cat and our pet rabbit just do that. Human beings, on the other hand, don't, as the, um, as the science writer Lawrence Isley once put it, we are the only creature who asks why. And what's fascinating is that search for meaning turns up all over, all over the arts is one place you see this, whether it's movies that raise that question. Think of things like The Tree of Life from a few years ago or a few, even more a few years ago, It's a Wonderful Life, whole movie constructor. What's, what's the point of life? What's the point of your existence? We have music explores this. You might think of, you know, I'm a, I'm a U2 fan. I mean, U2's classic song, I still haven't found what I'm looking for. TV shows, uh, The Good Place is currently on as we record this. Uh, you know, it's all around that, that question. And the same is true of novels and art and so on. It seems to be there is something inherently human about asking that question. And I think the reason we ask it, and the reason we ask it with such intensity, is, uh, is beautifully summarized actually by something that the, the Jewish psychologist uh, Viktor Frankl, survivor of the concentration camps, uh, once put in a, in a famous book of his, Man's Search for Meaning. He said, you know, ever more people today have the means to live but no meaning to live for. And so we live in the West in one of the most affluent societies or affluent times in the world, in, the, in history. Even those of us who struggle comparatively on the historical landscape are doing, are doing pretty well. But we're struggling with the meaning question. Our society doesn't provide the answer to why should we do any of the things that we do. And that's why I think we see this question writ large. It's a profoundly human question and I don't think you can avoid asking it. I don't think, you know, whether you're an atheist or a Christian or a Buddhist or a Hindu, all of us have to grapple with what is the point of life.